Hello beautiful family, this is Persh again. Today we're gonna talk about Tipong, Incan Hydraulic Engineering Masterpiece. The Incas were the heirs of previous achievements achieved by the effort and response capacity of the group settled in the different areas of the geography where Tawantinsuyo was developed. In this way, once again, the Incan culture gives us another feat of its engineering. The archaeological complex of Tipong shows us the connection of man with water, its role as an agricultural laboratory, and mainly its impressive hydraulic technology, a real engineering achievement to transport water from a natural spring through different channels, both horizontal and vertical skid fully built as well as the use of an impressive aqueduct that crosses a ravine to shorter distances with all its irrigation systems. The American hydrogeologist Kenneth Wright has published a book on these hydraulic structures which have earned him the title of Water Engineering Masterpiece of the Incan Empire at the American Society of Civil Engineers. The original Quechua name of the park has been lost. For the renowned Peruvian historian Luis Antonio Pardo, the current name of Tipon may derive from the Quechua word Impoch, which means boiling, and alludes to the fact that the gushing of the waters from the springs made it seem as if the liquid was boiling. Tipong is one of the tourist destinations of the South Valley of Cusco. It is located in the community of Choquepata, in the district of Oropesa, province of Quispicanchi, at a distance of 13 miles southeast of the imperial city of Cusco. The archaeological park is located at an altitude of between 11,482 and 13,123 feet above sea level. It has an extension of 239 hectares. The valley of Pinawa, where the archaeological site of Tipong is located, was occupied since 1200 BC by cultures such as Marcavalle, Waro, Cotacalle, Wari, Ilke, and finally the Incas. According to the historian Victor Angles Vargas, interpreting one of the passages of the chronicle Garcilaso de la Vega, Tipón was ordered to be built by the Inca Viracocha for the dwelling and refuge of his father Yaguarhuaca after his escape in the war against the fierce Chancas ethnic group. It is estimated that it was built around 1400 by Wiracocha and later expanded and improved by Pachacutec in a period that covers a total of 50 years. However, later studies have made clear that Wiracocha was the Inca who fled before the arrival of the Chancas, not to this place but to Huchilcosco in the heights of the sacred valley being the Prince Kusi Yupanqui who later will take the name of Pachacutec, who defeated and saved Cusco from the siege of the Chanca ethnic group. The chroniclers' reference to Yawarwaka are controversial, although they always relate it to the area of Tipong. In one way or another, it seems that Tipong became the residence of this monarch. The most outstanding sectors of Tipong are the terraces and channels. The total of 13 Incan terraces were built on a shallow ravine, all with their respective channels and irrigation aqueducts. The platforms are of excellent quality in the fitting of the stones and the quality of the traces of the architecture of the time. They could have been used for special crops. An agricultural research, it is believed that Moray, located in the sacred valley, was a place for experimentation in microclimates and rain-fed irrigation. 
Dipong was able to play a similar role in exploring agricultural techniques, but based on artificial irrigation. The source of the water that runs through the channels and ends up in springs and sewers in Tipong emerges from underground currents at the base of Kurusmoko Hill and also from the water collected from the Pukara River. Main source The characteristic of this fountain is that the main channel forks forming two waterfalls or pachas that are then joined in the form of a Y. After joining again, they are divided into four waterfalls, a single spectacle. The channels in this sector could represent the duality of the Andean world known as Yananting. The physical union of the channels would represent the Tinkui, and finally the four waterfalls would represent the four Suyus. The four regions of Incan Tawantin Suyu. The waters then come together again to irrigate the whole area. The function of this whole complex system is believed to have been to carry out ceremonies in order to make the water sacred before fertilizing the Mother Earth or Pachamama. Sincuna Cancha, it is generally considered a fortified neighborhood or security center of Tipong where about 50 people lived. It is characterized by the presence of rectangular enclosures with trapezoidal shaped courtyards and niches in Tiwatana. It is located at a higher altitude of a mountainous elevation that protects the entire complex. These are ceremonial structures where religion went hand in hand with astronomy. The windows and niches are aligned with the sun rays and sunset on solstices and equinoxes. Aqueducts This is a great feat of Incan engineering. It is 60 meters long and 4.6 meters high. Its purpose was to capture and transport the waters of the Pukara River to irrigate the terraces in the lower area of Tipong. The walls. It was built to protect the area from the constant wars that were being fought in those days. Due to its gigantic dimensions, its elaboration must have taken many years of work. Some historians presume that its construction is not attributed to the Incas, but to the Kilgi culture or the Wari culture. Wari culture used to build perimeter walls in their administrative centers, such in the case of the archaeological site of Piquillacta, very close to Chipong. The Mirador or Cruz Moco. The Cruz Moco or summit where there is a cross is located in the northern part of the archaeological park. From its location, you can see the city of Cusco. The water that feeds the entire hydraulic system of Tipong has as its main source the underground spring that emerges from this mountain. Other areas to highlight in Tipong are the Incan Cart and the Ceremonial Square. A look at Tipong represents a great challenge for engineers and architects. The respect for the natural environment and the technology used to mobilize the waters of the springs are a model of hydraulic engineering at the service of man, a nature that still stands for more than five centuries since its construction. The archaeological park of Tipon constitutes another sample of the greatness of the Incan culture. We're in Kearney Nipper Tours, thanks for watching our videos, if you like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, see you in our next videos.